So why did we choose Boker Creek, you might ask? It's a rather degraded watershed, it's highly impervious, and it's completely built out and, and developed. Well, we thought of it as a learning opportunity. If we can do it in Boker, we should be able to do it in any creek in the, in the region, or, or beyond the region, really. Um, there was a lot of work done by the community in raising public and institutional awareness. It was a multi-jurisdictional watershed, so that was something that was very interesting to the, to the CRD to, to really try to, try to see how we could make things work in a multi-jurisdictional watershed. And the, the biggest factor is the fact that there was a very, very strong community contingent that wanted to get a better functioning creek back in their community. And so there was, there was a lot of interest in residents, and that, that really pushed um, the decision, I think, to, to choose Boker Creek. Now, it wasn't the first time that the CRD and various municipalities had worked together to develop a management plan, but this time we decided we needed to do something different. So in the first attempts, we did the usual. We did a watershed assessment, we had a, a group of of you know, lots of government uh, officials and um, a few community members that got together and they developed a, a fairly detailed watershed plan. They identified a whole pile of actions that needed to be done and which of those agencies was responsible to complete that action. And then they said, okay, there we are, all done, implement. Well, there was no political direction. The, the, the plans didn't necessarily go up to the political level to get uh, endorsed or approved. And therefore, there was no direction to staff to actually do any of the work. And, and as everybody knows, I mean, we've, we've all got all sorts of priorities that we're dealing with all the time. And as a result, these watershed plans that cost a lot of money became documents that sat on a shelf. So with the Boca Creek process, we said, okay, we need to do something a little bit differently here. So we still did our assessment because you need to find out what your baseline is, what your key problems are. Then we had a 28 member forum uh, that was largely made up of community members and its institutional partners in the watershed. So we tried to engage all of those key property owners and stakeholders uh, in the watershed. They developed a draft plan. It went out to the public for consultation in 2002. Uh, then there was an interim steering committee that was developed to, to lead the consultation. They went to, once they finalized the plan, then they went to the CRD board and all of the municipal councils for approval and principle of the plan. And here's the key difference. We then said, okay, in order for these things not to become documents that sit on a shelf, we need somebody that's going to be able to drive the implementation of this plan forward. So we hired a part-time coordinator and we established a steering committee. And, and those two things are the keys, I think, to moving this process forward and ensuring the successes that we've, we've seen to date. And I'll talk 